What's up, Jabroni? Sipping here. Welcome back to yet another reaction. Today, we are hopping into Buffy the Vampire Slayer, episode number three of season number five called The Replacement. Hopefully, it's a great episode. Hopefully, it's a lot of fun. Hopefully, you've been enjoying this series. If you have, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reaction episodes extra early over there if you want them. If you don't, really cool. Episodes here whenever they show up. So, I think we should talk about last episode. Uh, so, last episode, um, a lot. I know a lot of you guys in the comment section um, on Patreon have told me that Trust in Whedon, things will make sense later. Uh, did you really think uh, that this show would kind of fall off the rails like that? Just because I didn't love last episode and I had a lot of issues with last episode. And yes, I know that I missed um, whatever the hell, the hell's, um, <laughs> what the hell's Buffy's sister's name, whatever her name is. I, I missed her in the intro. Uh, she was in the intro. I looked away when she showed up. So she is in the intro. So it's weird. But I went back and rewatched the episode. What the hell's her name? Hope? Does Hope sound about right? And Joy's name is Joy. And we have Faith. Dawn? No, her name's Dawn. That's her name. Dawn. Right? <laughs> Whatever her name is. Uh so I went back and watched that episode uh, last night. Uh and I you know, I just kinda had it watched it in the I watched it in the background and just kinda had it there while I was doing other stuff. I don't think we're meant to love that episode right out the gate. Because I watched it again, and I just, I don't think we're meant to love that episode. That episode, like I mentioned in my review, felt like a Nickelodeon TV show. Some of you guys have mentioned that that was because they were trying to appeal more to the younger audience. I just think that since we were doing it through the perspective of uh, the girl, which is what you guys also said, I just think they went for a more Nickelodeon type thing with the voiceover stuff and her writing in a journal. I mean, was this during like Clarissa explains it all days or something? I mean, it makes sense if they were going for that, but as somebody that loves this show and isn't like, you know, I don't know what's coming. So I'm just watching it as like, Oh wow, they made some, this is the choice they made. So maybe later on when it actually makes sense and stuff makes sense later, maybe I'll love this episode more. We're watching it. It's like, we're doing some weird edits. We're just plopping her character in giving us no real clues as to why we had the random sick zombie dude, which you guys said it wasn't a zombie. He was just a weird ass homeless man saying she doesn't belong here. I don't know what the fuck that meant. <laughs> then we have the ending with her saying, Oh, she still thinks I'm her innocent little sister. Uh, okay. But like coming from it from like, from, like from the show, I'm just like, okay. <laughs> so, you know, I get that you guys know what's coming and it makes sense later, but in the moment when I'm watching it, I rewatched it. I mean, I didn't pay as much attention as I did last time because I had it in the background, but I was still watching it. I sat down and I watched some scenes and I'm like, yeah, it still felt like, it felt like a very different show and it felt like a kid's show. And I know Buffy is kind of like an all ages show. It's TV PG. This felt like a G Nickelodeon Disney channel show. And I'm into some of those shows. I don't want Buffy to be that show. So, I don't know. That's how I came at it. I know some of you guys, um, nobody was mad, but you guys were saying, oh, trust in Whedon, trust in Whedon. I will trust in Whedon, but I also, you know, <laughs> wanted to tell you guys my initial opinion. And then later on, if it all makes sense, it all makes sense. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to hop in here the replacement. I don't know what that means. Uh, hopefully, have a good time. Hopefully, have some fun. Like, comment, subscribe. Pretty much. Here we go. Yeah. Give it up and watch the movie. I guess it has been a long day with the Crusades. I could take a little break from the violence for some... Oh, fighting. Does Xander live in a, an abusive household? We can fight you as well. Ain't cauldron anymore. The last step in my forging is my pain. The price with which I purchase. The death of the Slayer. Okay. That's so bad. I want it. Pay anything. <laughs> yeah, Xander we don't... Harris? We can have the Scooby meetings in the living room and, and Giles can explain the boring Why did things. Buffy and Riley yeah. go into oh, that random ass room? Really. It would be like having hot and cold running popcorn. Oh, I don't think she understands money. Excuse me. Or like how Sander doesn't have any. <laughs> uh, we, um, uh, we like the ceiling fan. Anya has her own place. I mean, <laughs> we could just hang out there. Brilliant. Nice. Oh. Ah, 
Damn. The Slayer. Jesus. You do not concern me. What's that, man? <laughs> like, instinctive? Like, oh, he hangs out in the dump? dump. Where it smells good to relax and be themselves. People say they're recycling. You mean a great tall roby thing like that one? Oh, shit. Take cover. Oh. Oh, very nice. I was on your side. <laughs> Watch out. Why did you do that? So what's it gonna do to you now? Because you know, something's that gonna that happen. Hurt. Yeah, yeah. Take it slowly. Or maybe you just hurt. Oh, it did something. Wait, what? How didn't they see you? They made a. They made a. They ma so the the demon is trying to was trying to make uh -oh. another Buffy. Cause he was trying to hit her with that. He was trying to make another one. Hello. Say something. God damn it, Hello. Xander. Well, if this guy wants to fight with weapons, Zidora. I can stand in the hallway, right? She's watching us like a big freak. Close the door. This must be my two teenage girls in the house headache. I thought it felt familiar. Good work, Dom. You gave her a headache. Close I the did door. Not. Did I give you a headache, Mom? I'm sure part of it is Buffy's, but Close part the of it. Oh, Slayer. One of these days. Okay. The anger is still real. Is he gonna go quit his construction job? Yeah, in my trail, okay? I'm talking to all the guys today. The job's winding down. Right, I'll be right there. I don't know how you don't go to Buffy right away. Him. I was thinking that I'd have you head up our interior carpentry crew. Oh, sure. It it's more nice. responsibility. Pays better. Nice. That would be great. A promotion, but I. I mean, he didn't. Right. There comes a point where you either have to move on or just buy yourself a Klingon costume and go with it. <laughs> well, I hope you'll be happy here, Mr. Harris. What's over the. And no, 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 no. Yeah. Then... <laughs> He's better at everything than you. He's literally a better version of you. No, no. He looked exactly like me. It stole my face. We have to find it. Damn it, see? And we have to kill it. Let's go kill Don't him. Don't worry, Xander. Whatever stole your face, it has to deal with the Slayer now. And the question is, how can Xander prove that he's not... I mean, I guess being like, hey, guys, he's way too cool to be me. <laughs> but it's clearly not me, guys. Look at me. And then Every Christmas... We watch Charlie Brown together, and I do the Snoopy dance. <laughs> he's just enjoying this. She has no idea what he's doing. Xander, stop dancing. Aha. Uh -huh. You called me Xander. Xander, shut up. Why wouldn't I think you were Xander? The demon with the creepy stick thing. It disappeared after it hit. Toth. It hit you it's with the thing. Be. He hit Xander with that blast and, then and disappeared. allowed him to take Xander's form. Uh, couldn't that be what the creepy stick thing did? Yes. It wanted to it wanted That's to right. be it Buffy. Makes sense. Well, he can take anything, but he can't have her. I need her. Really? He could be with her right now. Like, figure out a spell, something revealing. I Why she saying it like that? That's awesome. You didn't think about Anya till just now. Hey, wait till you have an evil twin. See how you handle it. Damn, that is true. I handled it fine. Oh, yeah, she had the vampire, the doppelganger. <laughs> Anya? The ceiling fans were very attractive. Because of you. No. It's because I knew you wanted it. I don't get why he wants to it's be Xander. Like, why he's... Like, if he wants to kill the Slayer, why wouldn't he have fun? There's a hurry, Xander. Why? I'm dying. Wait, what? I may have as few as 50 years left. Oh years what is this he's good get away from her xander 
Xander! Get out. You don't belong here. Anya, it's me. Anya, you know I'm me, right? No! He doesn't know. What is it? Make it go away. So what the fuck? Up. Yeah, you take the places where he under you had a, a demon in a Xander suit. What makes you so sure that yours is the right one? He knew stuff. He, he did the Snoopy dance. Buffy, it was Xander and he needs us. Oh dear Lord. I said, oh dear Lord. Yeah, you always say that. <laughs> well, it's always important. <laughs> Neither Xander is a demon. It splits one person into half, distilling personality traits into two separate bodies. Oh, so... As near as I can tell, Toph was attempting to split the Slayer into two different entities. I'm really... You have to know it's me! Don't worry, Anya. We'll get rid of this thing. So the coin is nothing? And this is gonna last about 15 seconds. So the coin is... Oh, what the fuck? I'm so confused as to like the coin, the clipping of the coin. Is that just like a cool thing? Ultimate driving machine, my ass. <laughs> Get out of the way. Sandra. It's all right, Buffy. I have him. No, Buffy. I'm me. Help me. Damn, he did that shit cool as hell. <laughs> Buffy, which cool. one's real? I am. No, I am. <laughs> Ow. Thank you. How do you make them be together? Ow. Oh, but he has a thing in his pocket. A shiny disc that stuns and disorients. What disc? Order? Cover your eyes. It'll melt your brain. <laughs> it's a quarter. I thought it was something, too. Look, it's a nickel someone flattened on the railroad track. I found it. Buddy, you're a little bit late. Oh, great. Rob boy. I will not miss again, Slayer. The gun! Pick up the little gun pieces! Hey, I just made a small cleaning deposit. You brought a sword? Oh, damn. Okay, we got him. Same memories, all the same physical attributes. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're completely identical. I wonder if she's like, I wonder. Yeah, we checked out some stuff in the car on the way over. Um, I can take the boys home, and you know we can all have sex together, and then um, you know <laughs> slap them back together in the morning. She doesn't have any. She's joking. <laughs> no, she's not. She entirely wants to have sex with us together, which is we. It would have been kind of fun to have two Xanders for a little bit. Both Spock. <laughs> there. Here we go. I feel like Willow's been dressing very nice, like like an adult. Let the spell be ended. It the other way, put him back. <laughs> I mean, the good thing is, we know that the confidence is in Xander. Load her up like one of those little horses. <laughs> no, I think it's because he wants you to move Thanks. in. Fine, he wants you to move in, doesn't he? Still, I do envy you sometimes. I mean, for the sanity, not that I'm still in the Buffy, not that I ever was. <laughs> I'm well aware of how lucky I am, like lottery lucky. She doesn't love me. Wait, what? I thought Buffy, Buffy loved him. All right, well, that was episode number three. This is number five. Um, yeah, I like that episode a lot. Um, I actually think that episode's pretty damn near a nine. Uh, for me, at least, or close to a nine. Um, maybe it's not quite a nine, but it's like an eight. Really solid, strong eight. Uh, I love so you guys know I love Xander like I've like loved, Xander's been my, my, one of my favorite characters probably my favorite characters for the longest of the se like of, the, of all the seasons I mean he's so really ranked high up there seeing him vulnerable seeing him want to have the confidence I love that I love kind of seeing him kind of try to be better be more than what he is I love his relationship with Anya it's probably the best relationship we've had we have right now um Maybe Tara and Willow is a good relation, but we haven't really gotten too much with them, so I don't know. We don't get too many episodes, which is, which is just kind of focused on them. So, but I do love that. I'm so confused about the buff, the Kylie thing. I, f so he said I love you in the car. I'm trying to think of, well, has Buffy never said I love you to him before? 
because now I'm having questions. Very, very strong questions. Um, we got very little uh, Dawn. So, you know, gay for me. Um, she was kind of being like a, little, like a little bit annoying at the beginning, which is typical sister stuff. Uh, we'll see where that goes. Uh, the demon itself and what he did was cool idea. Split uh, Buffy into two. So the weak Buffy, it kills the strong Buffy. That's actually... Is that the best plan we've had of any demon that has tried to kill Buffy? Probably. Um, let's see. I love like when Xander and when the Xanders were talking and interacting with one another. I thought that was really funny. The way that they <laughs> like, oh, the shiny thing, the shiny thing is like, oh, it's a Nick sound. Like I, I loved all that. I thought it was it all worked really, really well. Um, other than that, what else do we have? I don't know. I just I really like the way the episode flowed. We'll kind of go through it here. We'll, we'll see what we can find, but. The most part, I really liked it. We had the weird moment with Spike. Spike trying to, uh, I don't know, he's practicing on how to kill Buffy. So we have this episode here where we get to find out a lot about Xander. So Xander's always given me this impression that he comes from like a not very wealthy family, right? Like Buffy's mom seems pretty wealthy, or at least upper middle class, and also... Willow's mom seems at least middle class and her parents, right? Because the house that uh, that Buffy lives in and Joyce is like a museum curate, curator or something like that, right? Or think about art or something, that's her job. But then you never, we they never ever have shown Xander's family, right? We've never even seen the upstairs of Xander's house. And this episode gives you real vibes of like, how did they say? Um, I think Anya was the one that said it about Xander's drunk parents. Xander's parents are alcoholics. Are they abusive? I don't know. They throw stuff a lot, and we saw that. Xander's embarrassed about it, so that's a really, really cool, interesting deep dive into him as a character. Um, and, you know, Xander's not smooth, but he wants to be. But, you know, Xander wants to move out, wants to look for a different place. We have this new demon. Um, and we're checking out apartments, and we go check out this very fancy apartment. Uh, too fancy, honestly. This was a weird thing here where Buffy and Riley are like, you know what, let's go make out in the room. <laughs> like, when everybody else is here. Uh, but Xander, you know, he sees how much it is. He knows he's going to he. So Xander's so not confident that he assumes he's going to be fired. He assumes he's going to be fired because of, um, because it's just like he has, no, he has no confidence in himself. So we get that whole scene. Anya really wants it. Anya is upset that we can't get it. Walks away. We see the demon guy attack Giles. Um, and oh, that, you know what would have been cool of an episode? If if the demon guy hit everybody and split everybody into two and we got to see everybody's kind of like inner selves, that would have been kind of cool. Kinda want, I kind of wish that demon didn't die. It would have been a cool thing to explore later on. Uh, so, you know, we're trying to figure everything out. Xander's looking around. Uh, they talk about the Toph is like the, the name of the... um. Demon, we see go to the dump, like at the dump, like searching for shit. We then see the bad monster guy. Uh, Xander gets hit with like a beam of something protecting Buffy. So actually, as much as I was like, Xander, what are you doing? Good thing for Xander. Because if Buffy would have gotten hit by that thing, it wouldn't have killed her, but would have split her into two. So good thing there. Xander walks away. And we see that another Xander is left behind. And we slowly come here and we see it's but the thing inside is suave Xander. And I was under the impression that this was like a demon pretending to be Xander. And then throughout I'm like, but why would the demon pretending to be Xander go to work? Um what's happening here. Oh yeah, we're we're kissing. She walks in, she makes the whole thing. Again, we're pretending like she's been around for a while. Having the confidence in you guys that this will make sense later. All I'm going with, because I'm not fucking lost. Because random, like I said, she just randomly showed up, and they're talking like she's been around forever. Uh, but we kind of don't harp on that. We see Spike wanting to kill Buffy. Xander showing up to work, you know, dressed to impress. And then Xander goes to his, uh, what he what he's is firing. But he's actually not fired. So Xander was never going to be fired. He's just so he just so has no confidence in himself and always thinks negative that he thought he was going to be fired when in actuality he was going to get a promotion um, and then Xander thinks that it's because of that coin thing 
which made me think it's about because of that coin thing. Get the flirting with the lady. Get Xander trying to fight Xander. Xander gets his ass whipped by Xander. And then Xander takes a while to get to other Xander. As Xander's already, or we'll call him Fancy. Fancy Xander is telling them that there's another Xander out there. And he's evil. You have to kill him. So, you know, regular Xander goes to, or not regular. What do you call the Xander? Bummy Xander <laughs> goes to Willow and tries to explain to Willow what's happening. Because Willow doesn't know what's happening, so she's just kind of going along for the ride and wants to hear everything Xander has to say. Uh, she believes him. And then we get over here. Fancy Xander is telling them what they need to do. Going back and forth. Doing some pretty cool jump, uh, jump cuts. Not jump cuts, but just cuts. Edits. Xander, regular or dopey Xander here. Thinks about Anya. Oh my God, the demon's going to go after Anya. So he runs over there to protect Anya. There's a weird moment here where she's like, wait, you thought about giving up on everything and Anya just got came to you? Which is an interesting concept and moment there where I'm like, wait, that is true. Why did it take you so long to think about that? He goes and grabs a gun, or he goes and grabs a gun, then Fancy Xander is being all suave here with with Anya, and then Dopey Xander walks in, and it's a whole fight thing. Believe me, I'm the real Xander, but Anya can't tell the difference because they're both Xander. Willow tells them that both Xanders exist, then Giles figures something out in the background, a little bit of comedy there. Uh, he says that they're both the real Xander. His personality just got split. The bad, the good. Kind of like uh, the movie um, uh, Twins, right? Where Arnold Schwarzenegger got all the good genes and Danny DeVito got all the bad genes. Uh, we're heading over there. Riley says he loves her here. No, I love you back. I, I really can't remember if she said it before. I thought she was head over heels in love. Um... Dopey Xander brings um, a gun. Buffy, he does. Fancy Xander has the cool something of the bullets. We're telling them that they're both Xanders. They both say the same answer. And then we're about to figure out what we have to do. Demon walks in. It's a bit of a fight. Buffy kills him pretty fast. And then we have here. Where we're going to put them back together. Of course, Anya is all about, you know what? I just need one night with both Xanders. <laughs> Which is so her character. It's funny. Uh, but yep, we just put them together. A very simple way to do it. I mentioned there in the reaction that look at how look how fancy Willow looks. Like, am I crazy? Has as, as Willow not just been dan uh, dressing a lot fancier? Like, dress not dressing her as much in poofy sweaters and overalls, right? Like, I don't know. I feel like she's she's just dressing differently, more like an adult. Um, I thought that this was gonna lead to Xander asking her to move in, but it does not. That really leads to a conversation here. So why, why did Xander make her carry stuff? To not be a pushover, maybe? To show, like, you know what? I'm going to be a determined kind of man. But he has a nice conversation with Riley, and then Riley says that she doesn't love me. Just knows. This is the one. So he's in love with her, wants to marry her, but... But she doesn't love me. What? what? Where is that coming from? And then Xander's the one that knows, and it kind of goes there. So that's the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, Patreon for the full reaction. Uncut episodes over there if you want them. If you don't, that's totally cool. You can get episodes here whenever they show up. But I'm going to get out of here, and I'll talk to you guys later.